Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to make this video updating the board here. So as you can see, it's really dirty and I actually had a little accident here where I dropped the board onto some sharp and it cracked my whole case here. So anyways, you can see it's been a little bit rough for this guy. You know, all the mud and stuff. Just riding it rough. Riding it everywhere basically. So it's held up pretty good overall. There's some rust starting just from, uh, you know, running over water constantly. Because I do run over water pretty often, so which is pretty cool because I haven't had any problems with the controller. Of course, when I do go over water, I slow down a lot. So, but I do go off-road here and there, and that's what makes it get, you know, dirty with mud and whatever. So I'm going to try to clean it up here a little bit, and I uh, want to talk about a little bit about the plans I have for this board. So Marcus and I are just going to wipe this baby down, and then we'll uh, talk about what we're going to do for the future. You can see it's starting to look a lot better. And we're going back here now. It'd be nicer to work when everything's clean compared to when everything's dirty. Alrighty, it's all nice and clean. So now we can bring it in the house, Marquia. Yeah. All right guys, so we're in the house now and this is where you guys will see what exactly will be happening to this board. All right guys, you guessed it. We are going to make a four by four skateboard. So we're gonna have drive wheels up front and drive wheels in the back. All right, so there are challenges of doing this, obviously. Now, one of the ways that you could do it is you can double everything up. You can double the controller. Obviously, you have to double the batteries because these batteries can pull just one set barely right now, so. So one of the cool thing is, is that we have two extra of these, or we will have two of these extras, just plain trucks with wheels, 90 millimeter wheels. And this is ultra light. So, we might eventually do a standard build dual motor, probably attachment to these trucks. Alright, so in this video what I want to do is I want to see, obviously, if this works. So I'm going to take this off and hook it up, hook this up to this and make sure it works. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to put these together and see if they'll work off the controller. So, Alright, so we got this thing off as you can see so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and unplug all this alright before I take it all off um, there was somebody that commented on my or where I took the motor apart one of these motors here on one of my videos um, someone commented that why didn't I use it after I put it back together because I didn't have my remote it was in the car you can see everything works just fine like it was before so the old motor is disconnected it's time to connect the new one all right, so I got the new motor hooked up, but it did not hook up the hall sensors. So let's see how she does. So everything is on. And there it goes. Let's go full power. And as you can see, works great. So I connected the hall sensors now, and uh, I've noticed, I ran it a couple times, I noticed that it's a lot smoother and a lot more predictable. Like it has a soft start, a lot better. And at the top end, it's a little bit quieter than it is without these guys. Because when I had it without these with full throttle, there was a weird like a bouncing around sound. All right, guys. So now the moment of truth: Can this controller <laughs> run both of these drives here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, connect all these to this circuit here together. And we'll see if it runs them together. So they're both connected now in parallel. So this motor and this motor are like one motors. Uh, this is my first time trying it, so let's see what it. Let's see if it works. Okay, the good news is it powers on. No. For some reason, that one doesn't want to fire up. All right, guys. So bad news. I tried many combinations back and forth. Anything, everything I can think of and I still can't get them to sync up so it looks like the driver here is unique to the one motor because the way they work is it's a frequency um, it's not like direct current kind of style it's a frequency that shoots at the right moments where you know it pushes it so if, if no two motors are the same meaning they all run on different frequencies so you know if I Put them together or put them, put them anywhere in any combination. They just don't want to spin together because uh, 
they are knocking it, uh, each other off the frequencies. Or if they do tr spin somewhat, one will spin this way, the other one will spin this way, and all kinds of weird stuff. And it will kind of make like weird sounds. So bottom line is not working. So I think the only way to keep this dream alive is we'll have to get another controller. So, Which is really not cool because they're not cheap. Anyway, so this is kind of a failure video of an attempt to make a all-wheel drive. So for now, it's not going to work unless, you know, I try to get more parts. So, But in any case, and I don't know if I want to do all that because it's already costing me quite a bit of money to do this. I'm going to research it a little more and see what I can come up with. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this video. Sorry that it was not what it needed to be, I guess. I'm honestly kind of disappointed myself. But, you know, not understanding how all this works kind of, you know, makes sense why it doesn't. Probably if I did a little bit more research, I would have known that this will not work. But in any case, it's no problem. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. So in this case, I am not winning a little bit. But this is how you learn, and this is how you proceed with new things. So, But in any case, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. We will be upgrading this battery to a 20 cell, 6,000 amp hour. So that's going to be nice. We're going to have really good range after that. All right, so stay tuned and check out my build video for this board. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.